Hi. Um, this is a midday prayer slot for Thy Kingdom Come, the prayer initiative that's sweeping across the country over the next 10 days. Um, I'm in my garden, which is lovely. It's great to have a blustery sunny day um, to do this. Um, yesterday, David gave us a starter and asked us to think about five people who uh, we know who don't know Jesus yet, to have them on our minds over this next 10 days. And... Um, to maybe tie a knot on a piece of string for each one. And I've got a little bracelet on with some things um, to help me remember. And when I think about five things, I often think about David and Goliath. You know, that story in the Bible where David uh, throws a stone at a giant and it kills him outright. Um, he had, it says in the Bible that he had five stones that uh, he took in his little bag to uh, go kill the giant. So who's prepared with five things? And I was wondering about five things. You know, we're thinking about five friends and I was wondering about five things that maybe we want to throw at some of the giants in our lives. Maybe we've got um, some stuff that drags us down. Maybe we've got worries. That can be one stone. Maybe we've got overthinking. That could be another stone. Maybe we, uh, yeah, we do stuff that we don't like for ourselves. Maybe we spend too much time on social media. That can be another stone. Maybe there's some things that we could possibly get rid of at this time when we're dwelling on, uh, yeah, spending a bit more time with God. Let's write those things down today, maybe. Um, maybe even write them on a stone, each one on a different stone. Have five stones. Throw them down the garden. Make sure there's no one down the garden because we don't want anybody hurt. But uh, give them over to Jesus. Let him deal with it. Um, yeah, and then, and then maybe you'll find yourself with a little bit of space in your heart, a little bit more room for those five people that you're praying for. And maybe we could name five things about Jesus that, uh, yeah, we could hand on to those people. Maybe some of those people that we're praying for, maybe somebody needs peace. That's a good thing about Jesus. Um, maybe somebody needs a bit more love in their lives. That's a really great thing about Jesus too. Um, there's justice, there's mercy, there's forgiveness. Um, Jesus is just overflowing with goodness. Um, so maybe dwell on five things and on those knots on your bracelet or on your piece of string, wherever you tied it. Um, maybe name those things. Maybe attach them to the people in your mind that you've been praying for. Maybe think of five things that those people might need. Is there someone who might need peace or love or mercy or justice? And now, uh, yeah, I think we'll just pray. Lord Jesus, thank you uh, that you offer us all those amazing things. We want to see more of you, more of your kingdom in our lives, in our hearts, and in our friends' lives, and in this world, Lord Jesus. We pray for those five people. We pray that we lift them up to you and bring them closer to you at this time, Lord Jesus. We pray that we will be given words to say to them that will just, uh, yeah, be something of you. Show your glory to those friends, those friends who we feel are struggling and just not coping, Lord. We pray that you'll be with them. Your kingdom will be with them and your kingdom will be with us at this time. Thank you, Jesus. Amen.